Shut up and sit down. Welcome back to Nerd Safari. We are Simon and Ellie. We certainly are. And if you enjoy our videos, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, hit the bell thing. That would be very kind of you indeed. And we are massive Star Wars fans, not only of what Disney considers canon, but the whole kit and caboodle of Star Wars stuff. And recently, for that reason, we checked out a first looks teaser kind of a deal of Star Wars Visions, which is a really, really interesting concept. It's basically Japanese anime studios creating their own original non-canon Star Wars stories. So they have free reign to do whatever they want. The teaser didn't tell us too much, but we're really, really intrigued to see more, and they just dropped a new trailer for it. If you want to see our reaction to the teaser, you can check it out up there. But for now, we're going to go ahead and check out the new trailer. If you want to see what we think about it, then stick around. For now, though... Let's go. Let's go! Long ago, a great warrior came to this village and entrusted our ancestors with this. Its power and responsibility now lie with you. Kyber Crystal! <gasps> oh, oh. Oh. You've been guided by the Force since you were born. At last. The moment arrives. Nice! It's the first time I've confronted such darkness. Something ancient and sinister. Whoa! We're going to be a proper family! I accept this responsibility. Yes. Oh my goodness, so Star Wars Visions coming to us in just a few weeks and literally starts with the lightsaber being handed over to a new apprentice and who accepts the responsibility of carrying this heavy Star Wars burden to a new demographic, a new audience. Come on! What is not to be excited about? Well, what did you think of the trailer? Because I was kind of meh. <laughs> I can tell. Yeah, so what I would like to avoid, last time when we did the trailer reaction, we did do, do a bit more of a deep dive into what we felt was the scope and potential for this. So I don't want to go into that again. I'd rather focus on what we actually saw in this trailer because that's already been done to death. It looks incredible. I wasn't expecting such a variety of art styles. Yes. Um, and it's really, it really shows how much, that, that, that it went out to these different studios and that Disney just kind of let them play with it. And so we get all these incredible stories with art styles that fit. Like there was just, they had so much free reign in what they presented and we see so many different styles. We see kind of like some of the fun, cartoony type things and then some of the more sinister characters. Yes. And I was expecting kind of a lot of like battle and combat, that kind of thing. But that we saw hints of other things as well, like kind of cute characters reacting to each other. So I'm really, I'm so looking forward to this. Yeah, me too. And I guess, yeah, and I think you're right. Like, to say anime style art is like saying Western style art. Like, there is no Western style art. There is no one anime style either. There are hundreds of different styles of anime. And it's so amazing seeing some of the best in the business. Like, in a nation that's revered for its incredible art, artwork to see that representing the Star Wars universe is amazing. I guess what I was worried about in the teaser was 
would these really feel like Star Wars or would they just feel like a polish on some other story? And, and we have seen that, sadly, in the past, where they take an unfinished short story or something and they just scrub in some Star Wars characters and they're like, there you go, a, a Star Wars story for you. And you, this doesn't feel right. But I've got to say, this really felt like the Star Wars universe in so many ways. And there were so many small touches. There, I'm sure you saw whistling birds at one point as rockets shot out of something. There was a shadow of the ship that was formerly known as Slave One. Does it really piss you off that it's now called Fire Spray? I've got to say, I'm not in love with Fire Spray, but I am very happy that it's not called Slave One anymore. And let's not even go there. But uh, anyway, but you saw Boba Fett's ship. You saw Boba Fett on something. You saw a hunter killer droid as well. Like it wasn't just the here is a lightsaber. So it must be Star Wars. There was stuff drawn deeply from Star Wars lore embedded in these stories. And it just goes to show that Star Wars isn't just a Hollywood thing, that it, you know, it appealed to me when I was a kid growing up in rural England. It appeals to people whether they're in India or Japan or China. It, it doesn't matter where you're from. This is a story that appeals on a human level. And people love telling that story in their own art style and in their own way and in, in a, a culturally different way as well. That's what I love about this is, and there, there were things as well that were very culturally relevant to Japan, like this whole concept of catching a katana when it's coming towards your head and you catch it in both hands. The fact that somebody does that with the force and a lightsaber, like it makes it Star Wars, but it makes it culturally Japanese as well. And I, I just, I love that blending of the two. That's something we've never seen before and I honestly hope Disney and Lucas and whoever else just keep doing this whether they'll take a franchise and it, it does no harm to see a fresh cultural spin on things that, that's the way the world should be is a lot more inclusive and, and sharing in each other's stories that's pretty magical to me so and wow we don't have to wait very long like really by the time Marvel What If finishes you then get Star Wars Visions on Disney Plus and it's almost like the House of Mouse it's just finding ways for you to avoid cancelling that subscription by giving you just one more thing that you have to wait week after week to get <sighs> yeah and while they keep raising that price you know I'm talking about you Mickey little bastard anyway but thank you for star wars visions so as you can see i am very very excited how about you yes very excited <laughs> i think there's a lot of potential here i am still a little bit wary that some of them might not feel like star wars but i'm really really looking forward to what we've seen so far just seeing more of that just give me more yeah of that. Yeah, and to me, actually, like, I still have that reservation, but I'm feeling like they've embedded enough Star Wars in the fabric of this show that, that it doesn't matter if it's going to feel like some weird manga thing instead. It's still going to feel like a weird manga Star Wars. And it, it kind of feels to me like there's enough Star Wars DNA to salvage whatever else could happen. So I am super excited for Star Wars Visions. Well, unfortunately, though, that is all we got time for today, because that was just a little teaser of both Star Wars Visions and us. So we will see you, therefore, very, very soon, friends, on the next Dork Trailer Ambush. Peace out, nerd. May the Force be with you, always. <laughs>